Have you ever noticed those beautiful shimmering patterns of light that dance on the bottom of a swimming pool? Or those lights that form a table from glass? These patterns are known as caustics and are formed when light is reflected or refracted from a curved surface. To truly unravel the science behind these caustics, let's take a dive into the world of light. When light enters through a medium like glass, something fascinating happens. The speed at which light travels throughout the medium changes, causing its direction to bend. The amount of bending depends on the angle at which light strikes. We call this refraction. There's this fancy term used to measure how much light slows down compared to when it's dipping through empty space. It's called the refractive index, and each material has its own refractive index. For example, Glass has a larger refractive index than air, so when light goes from air into glass, its path gets bent and returns to its original angle as it emerges from the glass. When light rays go through a convex surface like this lens, they can all meet up at a special point called the focal point. It's like the center of attention for the light. This is the spot where the light gets super bright and intense. The light rays can also combine in certain areas while other regions experience a pocket of darkness where little to no rays reach. These unique interactions can result in the formation of those interesting patterns we call caustics. Let me show you an example with a simple glassware. You can see over there the formation of a caustic, and if you move the light source back and forth, the shape of the caustic will change as well. These caustic patterns can get more pronounced when you have water in the glass. See that? The caustic is even more pronounced now, and if you notice, there's another caustic inside the first one, that's because there's two mediums now. You can even try putting the light source above the glass, and this caustic pattern kind of looks like an eye. The caustic patterns can get more interesting if you use glassware with intricate and unique designs. You can see the caustic pattern follows the design of the glass. Let's see what the caustic pattern looks like from above now. Well, isn't that amazing? Let's try it with water inside this time. Damn, that looks so angelic. It looks like it has wings. The patterns created in the swimming pools and beaches follow the same principles, but now they can change. And that's because of the constant movement and flow of water, introducing an element of unpredictability and rendering these patterns even more amazing. When light hits a surface and bounces off, the angle it bounces off from is the same as the angle it came in from with respect to an imaginary line called the normal, which is perpendicular to the surface at the exact point where light ray strikes. Some materials reflect most of the light, while some only reflect a portion. These reflected rays can also gather and form caustic patterns. As an example, you can try shining your phone light on a metal spoon because the spoon has a concave shape which focuses the light together. Now, the pattern isn't perfect, and that's because the spoon has imperfections, but it still creates interesting patterns nonetheless. If you try it on your own spoon, you might get a completely different pattern to mine. Similarly, when you shine light inside a ceramic mug, you can get these amazing patterns called cardioids. These cardioids resemble a high shape, and if you move the light source, the shape will change as well. But here's where things get even more interesting. Light just doesn't behave as a ray, but they behave as a wave. So when we talk about light rays, they are actually lines that are perpendicular to the wavefronts and describe the direction of light's propagation. Light is part of what we call the electromagnetic spectrum, which includes a wide range of wavelengths for different colors. The wave theory of light can predict the same patterns as a ray, but waves can predict more phenomena. But here's the cool part. Depending on the wavelength, different colors can bend or refract in different ways. So what you see is light splitting into multiple colors. We call this dispersion, and you can see this occurring in core stickers as well. I can show you an example of this with water in a wine glass. And you can see over there, it's dispersion, and over there as well. Here's another cool thing that a wave theory of light can predict, diffraction. If you shine a laser at a narrow slit, the light waves can bend and spread out, creating an alternating pattern of bright and dark regions called a diffraction pattern. These patterns alone are captivating, but what makes them even more exciting is combining them with caustics. Caustics aren't just limited to the light alone, 
but they can also occur in sound. And that's because sound is a propagation of vibration in the medium. Although you wouldn't experience caustics and acoustics in the same way as light. In fact, the underlying principle of caustic applies to anything that can behave as a wave and even have real world applications. But that's a video for another time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to learn more about science and how it influences us every day, hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every time we upload a video. And make sure to give us a comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for another topic. As always, we are the ones to wonder, so keep on wondering.